Today, I wanted to share a powerful poem with you with the intent to heal the divine feminine and divine masculine in our collective consciousness. This poem has the potential to awaken a new way of being in relationship with yourself and all others. In order to experience a sacred unified field with another, you must first experience an inner alchemy, connecting with the internal qualities of feminine and masculine energy within yourself. When you practice radical forgiveness, deep compassion, complete surrender and unconditional loving presence, from the inside out, magic happens. Once you connect to the divine feminine and divine masculine within yourself, opening yourself up to the subtle energy flow, bringing the internal energies of the feminine and masculine into balance, you are sending out a strong intention that you are ready to truly connect. And the alchemical transformation and true sacred union is birthed into existence. I invite you to open your heart as I read this poem, this beautiful message to the Divine Masculine, the Divine Masculine within yourself and the Divine Masculine in the collective field. Feel the power of radical forgiveness, deep compassion and unconditional loving presence as you allow yourself to open up to a new way of being, a new way of being in relationship with yourself and all others. If you want to change the world, love a man, really love him. Choose the one whose soul calls to yours clearly, who sees you, who is brave enough to be afraid. Accept his hand and guide him gently to your heart's blood, where he can feel your warmth upon him and rest there, and burn his heavy load in your fires. Look into his eyes, look deep within and see what lies dormant, or awake, or shy, or expectant there. Look into his eyes and see there his fathers and grandfathers and all the wars and madness their spirits fought in some distant land, some distant time. Look upon their pains and struggles and torments and guilt without judgment and let it all go. Feel into this ancestral burden and know that what he seeks is safe refuge in you. Let him melt in your steady gaze and know that you need not mirror that rage because you have a womb, a sweet, deep gateway to wash and renew old wounds. If you want to change the world, love a man, really love him, sit before him in your full majesty of your woman, in the breath of your vulnerability, in the play of your child innocence, in the depths of your death. Flowering invitation, softly yielding, allowing his power as a man to step forward towards you and swim in the earth's womb, in silent knowing, together. And when he retreats, because he will, when he flees in fear to his cave, gather your grandmothers around you, envelop in their wisdoms, hear their gentle, shushed whispers, calm your frightened girl's heart, urge you to be still, and wait patiently for his return. Sit and sing by his door, a song of remembrance, that he may be soothed once more. If you want to change the world, love a man, really love him. Do not coax out his little boy with guiles and wiles of seduction and trickery, only to lure him into a web of destruction to a place of chaos and hatred, more terrible than any war fought by his brothers. This is not feminine, this is revenge. This is the poison 
of the twisted lines, of the abuse of the ages, the rape of our world. And this gives no power to any woman. It reduces them as they cut off a man's balls. And this revenge kills us all. And whether his mother held him or could not, show him the true mother now. Hold him and guide him in your grace and your depth, smoldering in the center of the earth's core. Do not punish him for his wounds, that you might think that he does not meet your needs or criteria. Cry for him, sweet rivers, bleed it all the way back home. If you want to change the world, love a man who really love him. Love him enough to be naked and free. Love him enough to open your body and soul to the cycle of birth and of death. And thank him for the opportunity as you dance together through the raging winds and silent woods. Be brave enough to be fragile and let him drink in the soft, heady petals of your being. Let him know he can hold you, stand up and protect you. Fall back into his arms and trust him to catch you, even if you have been dropped a thousand times before. Teach him how to surrender by surrendering yourself and merge into the sweet nothing of his world's heart. If you want to change the world, love a man, really love him, encourage him, feed him, allow him, hear him, hold him, heal him, and you in turn will be nourished and supported and protected by strong arms and clear thoughts and focused arrows. Because he can, if you let him, be all that you dream. If you want to love a man, love yourself. Love your father, love your brother, love your son, love your ex-partner. From the first boy you ever kissed to the last one that made you cry. Give thanks for the gifts of your unraveling to this meeting, of the one who stands before you now, and find in him the seed to all that's new in soul, a seed that you can feed, to help direct the planting, to grow a new world together. If you want to change the world, love a man, really love him.